Hey everybody, it's Mike. I have a new toy I'm going to share mostly with those of you in my class, but I don't know, I'll put it on YouTube so everybody can see it. This is a new gadget called MiraWeb. Mira is a gadget that you can use to share the user interface of a Max patch to tablets, basically. They just made it web accessible. And that's uh, what it's called. It's Mira Web. You can get it in the package manager. It's slick. Let me show you what I mean. So when you get it, you get this little uh, launch patch. And you fire that off. And it launches your web browser. Let me drag my web browser over here. And there it is. Let me make it smaller. So that it fits in my little screen. There, that's nice. So um, that's my computer right there that I'm doing this recording on, and I'm running Max on it, and I've got MiraWeb installed, and so this is what comes up. And when I connect with by con hitting the connect button, I get this little thingy, right? So it goes up and down in that queue. And if I go over here, I can see that it's Mira connected to this Max patch. And the thing that's the magic in this patch is this Mira frame object. And so if you, uh, you know, you can get a little help there. And there's a lot of stuff in that help patch that's really cool. And uh, all you do, basically, is add these mirror frames to your existing gizmo, and it shows up. Now, what does it mean to show up? Well, here's a, uh, an example of how uh, just a little UI is. And... Uh, just to give you a different example out of the project that I did for the class. So I made this little dashboard that's uh, driving along, keeping an eye on the electricity here at the farm, right? And I was thinking, God, this would be really cool to put out on the web. And then I was thinking, that's really hard. But it's not anymore. I'll show you how you do it. You sit there and you go into regular old patching mode and you throw down a new object, new mirror frame, and then you go like that and you drag it up into the corner because this thing in presentation mode all the little dials are going to go up in the corner. So you drag it and it, the, the aspect ratio is fixed. So, it, because it's going to go on a tablet. That's Mira's whole thing, it's a tablet. <laughs> so you don't get a lot of flexibility in terms of the, the thing. Now, I want to add this to presentation, which you, oops, well, let me move up here. I put this in presentation. And so now, if I go into presentation mode, I can still edit the Mira frame. And you can see that the way I laid this dashboard out, uh, doesn't quite fit, but that's okay because I can probably move all this stuff. So let me move all that down just so I'll take the mirror frame out. So I'll move that stuff down and out, and then I'll put the mirror frame around it like that. And now, if I go over to that web page. I got me a new frame that wasn't there before. And guess what's in it? That's all it takes to put something on the web. This is out on the web. This, is, this isn't just, you know, fancy stuff. It's out on the web. I'll show you how to get it there. So let's say that you have this uh, computer. This is my computer, 162. And it's behind a firewall. And suppose you want to... Uh, share it with the world, right? So you go to your router. Mine's a 
TP-Link router, you go to virtual servers that's forwarding. You just get help if you don't if you don't know how to do it. You put that same port, that uh, 8086 port that came up at the very beginning, and now I'll show you something really cool. I've got a virt I've got this is a, this is a server in that's 150 well 100 miles away and I have it logged in this same thing so I could I'll show you how so my my uh, little galaxy here is farm.haven2.com and if I go to port 8086 which is the one it told me to go to back in the beginning and it connects it's going to take a minute probably because of Let's take that. There we go. Probably confused it. So now it gives you that little splash screen, and you say, sure, I'll connect to that. And in a minute, there's that screen, right? So I can make this go up and down. And let me find that, uh, that other window. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Let's go to Max. Get this out of the way. Here's the mirror web. This is on my local machine here, sitting on top of that window. And if I drag this up and down, I'm in edit mode right now, so it's moving. And it's 100 miles away. If I lock it and I start dragging controls around, they, they move. And you can see that there's a little latency, so you wouldn't you know, you couldn't do super precision stuff from super far away, but you could certainly put this in front of an audience and say, hey, you get to control the volume and the, the timbre and the color of the video and stuff like that. And uh, all you'd have to do is have a UI in your Max patch and drag one of these mirror frames around it and there it is. That's pretty cool. That saves a lot of work when it comes to pushing your work out on the web. There's my little demo. Pretty slick, huh?